Hi, welcome to Curie's Corner, and today I'm going to be talking about a Christian's view on Halloween. And as you can see from my background picture, it's a spooky bunny, uh, so it's a little bit weird to be staring back at the spooky bunny. But uh, I just want to give um, a little idea of where we stand on Halloween. So I'm going to be reading from John 15, and it's about the vine and the branches. So it's not really a typical Halloween verse, but I'm going to tie it in here, so be patient. So John 15, starting at verse 1, I am the true vine, Jesus says, and my father is a gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. Well, every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you may bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Now you may be looking at me and saying, what in the world does this have to do with Halloween? What in the world? Um, so I want to just talk about being the true vine and being the branches of Jesus. What does that mean? And now, And this can be applied to everyday life. But especially to Halloween, because you see so many people, uh, Christians and non-Christians alike, saying, well, what do you believe about this? Uh, obviously, non-Christians say, hey, it's a really good holiday. It's a devil's holiday. We get to celebrate it. Uh, sometimes Christians say it's a devil's holiday. You should not celebrate it. Um, and this is applicable to any part of life, being the branches of Jesus Christ. Um, what would he have us to do? Now, anything you know in life, the devil takes and make it makes it worse. He takes God's perfect number seven, and he makes that corrupt. He takes God's rainbow and makes that absolutely corrupt um, into uh, different things like homosexuality. So he, um, the devil can pervert and twist anything, but I believe um, we have to take it back as God's people. We have to take back what God intended for good. Now, I'm not saying he intends Halloween for good, but something as a rainbow um, that enemy perverts and makes it really bad um, for homosexuality. That's just an example. Um, he perverts everything. He Instead of seven colors, he makes it six colors. Just one off. It's a 99% truth for a 1% lie. So how do we apply this to Halloween? Um, so a lot of people say it's bad, it's the devil's holiday. Um, I disagree. Our days are made for Jesus. Our days that we are alive, we are to use every moment, every piece, every second of that for Jesus. Now, we don't always do it. Sometimes we sin, we fall short. But I believe God wants us to use every opportunity to tell people about him. So what better time, a bunch of people out that normally wouldn't know Jesus, um, that you get to minister to, that you get to talk to, uh, what better time? People come into your door. You can't even ask for a better opportunity than that. Um, so I am of the mindset, uh, we have to make it for the glory of God. Um, we cannot look like the world in doing this. I believe anything like witches, ghosts, anything like that, I would never dress my children up like that. Um, I think that's demonic. So we can't follow the demonic pattern of Halloween. But how would we tie it in? Um, I believe we, when people come to your door, take time to talk to them about Jesus. Um, if they're there they're with their kids, with their costumes, uh, go buy a bunch of gospel tracts, hand it out with your candy. Uh, talk to people and, and spark conversation about it. I think that's so important. When you look at that, How what does it mean to be the branches of Jesus? Um, apart from me, it says you can do nothing. So if you do this on your own strength, if you just hand out candy and gospel tracts and just call it at that, um, you got nothing. But if you do it and you pray for the people coming to your house, if you do it, um, ask God to open doors, whether he opens one or not in that moment, if you pray and ask God and make it about him and not you, I believe God can do something really powerful in that. Um, so again, you're not, I believe that we're not to look like the world in this. We're not to, you know, obviously dress up as witches and goblins and all those things, you know, and glorify in that. But I believe that we're supposed to uh, glorify in God because of, of, apart from me, you can do nothing. So when we make it about ourselves and glorifying ourselves, 
then God's not going to honor that. But when we use us and we are truly his branches and cling to that vine, I believe that's something that's so special that God can use. Um, our days are in his hands. Um, I believe that's something that we can uh, really cling to and make applicable in our life today. So when you're celebrating Halloween, pray about it. Ask God to reveal to you what you would have you know what he would have you to do because i can sit here um a lot of people can sit here and give you pros and cons about it do i believe it's a devil's holiday absolutely i do but i believe we can turn that around for god's glory i believe we can make it about jesus uh it doesn't have to be about uh, all these spooky things about the candy it doesn't have to be about the dressing up it can be about jesus um if he tells you to do something then i say go ahead and do it um but don't do it for your own glory because you will be disappointed every single time god won't honor that and apart from him you can do nothing so i encourage you that this is holiday is coming up pray for the people coming to your door pray for people that you'd run across on the street or maybe a trunk or treat in a church um, I really encourage you to do that. Um, pray and seek God and have him show you what to do about this holiday. Uh, and I hope you have a good weekend, guys.